Welcome to the Ideal Boat Showroom in North Wales. Today I'm going to show you the full lineup from Sapstore, starting with the three-seater scooter, the four-seater 200 Sport, and the all-new 320 GTO. Let's take a look. Getting on the back of the sack store is really easy. You've got a grab handle here. If you go for the ski frame, you've got a grab handle here as well. It's pretty low to the water, so accessing it is easy. There is, however, also an optional boarding ladder, which isn't fitted on this boat, but folds down from this point. So we're on board the three-seater, which they call the scooter at the moment. This is rated for three adults, has loads of storage in it. A really comfortable position to drive in and it works really well in rough water as do all sap store uh, boats and yachts. Uh, you've got great storage on each side of the boat at the back. Huge storage locker underneath this seat which is attached. Two straps here and here. Through your covers, fenders, mooring lines, anchor, whatever you want to store in there. But it's a huge, huge storage locker. This boat here is fitted with the optional side windows, which just gives your passengers at the back a little bit more protection, and they look really nice as well. And all the Sapstore 200 range, or all the Sapstores actually, come with uh, fender cleats, which are standard. This flooring as well, which you see up to this step here, is standard on every Sapstore 200 as well. The boat we have before us today, again, this boat has got the twin uh, Simrad Go 9s, which have the Mercury Vessel View um, module integrated into them. It also comes with the Mercury Bluetooth mobile app as well, so you can see all the data you want, store trips, you can do all sorts of stuff on that through your phone as well. We've also got the Fusion Stereo system here, and we have the deck lights as you can see, and we've also got the, the backlit speakers on this boat. This one's also fitted with the Mercury anti-theft device and the engine on this boat is the biggest horsepower engine they do which is the 175 and it has fly-by-wire controls on it so all digital um, gear shift on there. The windscreen is in the up position at the moment but it can drop down using two screws or some screws rather. Where you can stop it where you want it and lock it in place. The screen in either position or any position rather offers you loads of protection. There's also a grab handle on the top of the screen as well. On the um, switch panel here, uh, stainless steel push switches which are all labelled and they're also backlit uh, in a blue colour when they're in operation. Over to this side here, this is both fitted with the optional trim tabs which has a joystick control on it which is very simple to use. Um, which is just used for this joystick here. To be honest, the boat doesn't need it, but uh, it's a nice option to have. Underneath the steering wheel here, uh, this has got an upgrade to steering wheel, steering wheel on it by the way, but underneath the steering wheel you've got this storage bag with a number of pockets in it uh, for putting your phone in and other things also. We also have under here a twin USB charging point either side of the, uh, the dash as well we've got a stainless steel cup holder with a drain which goes straight back into the cockpit so it's not dripping on your electronics behind the dash. As you go up to the bow there's a step which goes up. This boat's got an optional sun pad cushion fitted on there. This goes really nicely away or perfectly away up into this locker here. This locker has already got the non-slip mat in there. It's fully drained and this cushion goes into here. So as you can see I've got the, the cushion in here now. The other thing that cushion does is it doubles up as a mattress because there is a tent option on this boat which I will show you in a moment. Up on the fore deck on this boat, this one has got the optional forward deck flooring, the soft deck flooring. As you can see it matches the rest of the boat, looks great, it does have a cost to it but it looks fantastic. The front fore deck also matches the standard flooring on the bow step here. Either side of this bow step, you've got big chunky stainless steel cleats and also you've got your pop-up nav lights. So 
So this is the Saxdorf four seater version of the 200 Sport. This boat comes in blue, the standard, with this really nice Sandrine upholstery. There are other colour options, but they're chargeable. So they do a Pro Sport package, uh, graphics package, which is available in a red and grey, or like a turquoise and grey colour, both of which look stunning. This boat's fitted with the optional side windows. As standard, it just has the step on the side with the flooring as a pad that matches the soft touch flooring inside. This boat is fitted with the optional um, hard top targa arch. It's also available with a soft top, which I'll show you later, and you can just have it on its own with just the, just the bar. Okay, that offers some protection and protection from the weather. Also fitted to this boat is the optional forward sun cover. Um, this is removable, it's for use when you're anchored only, and this just folds up and rolls away into the storage locker. So as you can see on the back of this boat, this is fitted with 150, which gives an awesome performance. Um, this boat's also got the um, optional trim tabs fitted, and it's also got the optional transducer, which you need to spec if you're specking the uh, Simrad Go 9 to give you depth integrated into that system as well. Also fitted on this boat is the optional ski frame. Nearly every boat is uh, spec with one of these. As you can see, it doubles up as a good grab handle for boarding the boat or, or when, you, when you're in it. And it also has a towing point right at the top, so it's giving you great height for your wakeboarding, pulling skiers out of the water, but it works really well. It's finished off nicely as well. It's got the Saxdor logo etched into the top of it as well, or cut into the top of it rather, and there are also board racks coming for it as an option. So when you're on board this boat, you notice you've got exactly the same lockers on this as you've got on the three-seater scooter, which is a nice finished locker internally, loads of space in there, all decent chunky stainless steel hardware. Over this side, exactly the same. The main difference is it houses your isolated switch from the battery, which is easily accessible. So as you can see with this four-seater layout, it has a two-person forward-facing bench and two forward-facing bucket seats. Now this backrest here just flips over. It gives you great rear-facing seat as well, which is very comfortable. We do do a table option as well, which goes at the back here. So as you can see under this back seat, it's got a huge locker which lifts up and there's an optional cooler that goes in there. But it's a huge storage locker. So in addition to the storage we've got under this seat, you've got the two forward facing bucket seats, both unclip here and here, lean forward, and it reveals even more storage. There's plenty of room in there for all your equipment. As you can see on this model, it's got the two forward facing bucket seats, both of which have the flip up bolster, which gives you an elevated seating position. It gives you a little bit more space on this four-seater model the steering wheel is offset to the driver's side whereas on the three-seater it's bang on center this boat you see here today has got the single Simrad Go 9 on it which is an option uh, it also has the uh, vessel view integrated into there and as I've already explained it's got the uh, transducer option fitted as well so there's loads you can do with this dash which I won't go into at this point again not that it's needed but this boat is fitted with the, the optional trim tabs with joystick control You've got the upgraded advanced fusion stereo system on this boat, which is a more expensive premium unit with the backlit speakers in addition to the ones on the tower. All of the um, switches on here are backlit as with the three seater. And the main difference up here, obviously, other than the steering wheel is the, the bag under here, which matches the upholstery on this, which is tangerine. So I brought you on board another four seater here just to show you a couple of other options that the boats don't have or do have. So this one here has got the, the standard finish on the side. So it's got the soft depth flooring on the sides of the boat, which gives you great position to get on and off, stepping on and off from the, from the dock. But it's also very comfortable just for sitting on. Um, so there's quite a lot of space on each side of the boat. The other thing this boat's got that the others don't have is the uh, tent option in the front. So as you can see, there's some glazing on the top of the fore deck on this one. So obviously it lets you have some light going in there. Um, and then it just literally pops up. And then 
and there you've got a, a tent that comfortably sleeps two people. As you can see in here, there's absolutely stacks of space, plenty of headroom when you sat at the front. There's even a twin USB charging point for your phone when you're in here. So this is the mattress that would normally sit on the fore deck. Obviously you get some sleeping bags in here and there's loads of room for two people. There's even an option for a toilet in here. I'm here today to show you this awesome all new Saxdor 320 GTO. So we'll start off from the back of the boat and just show you all the awesome features this boat has back here. First thing you'll notice is the power on this. This is the biggest power option they do, which is the twin Mercury 300. Out on test the other day, we were doing about 63, 64 mile an hour. Top end, performance is awesome. But the boat's also available with twin 225s, which will give very, very good performance, and even a single 300, which is achieving 40 knots. So as you see on the back of the boat, we've got huge platforms either side, full uninterrupted boarding on each side. And as you can see, the platforms come really far back. So getting on and off the back of the boat should be relatively easy as well. It's a full walk around from one side to the other. And you've got some big chunky cleats on each side here. One of the features on this boat is this ski bar. Now that's hidden nicely under this lid here stored in these clips on the underside of the lid and then just literally drop this into here and then there's a securing pin that goes through which holds it in place so it's giving you a really good height for your, for your wakeboarding, skiing, pulling toys with and then obviously when you don't want to use it it just tucks away again and it's not in the way. Over on the starboard side there's a lid here that you lift up and then that hides a four step stainless steel boarding ladder, which I'll show you in a moment from the other side of the boat. So at the back of the boat here, you can see this huge seating area that very comfortably seats four facing forwards or backwards as a sun pad, the operation of which I'll show you in a moment. You've also got a, a transom safety door on each side, which has got the blue LED lighting around it. Also under the back of this seat, it lifts up to reveal a huge storage locker. So getting into the boat is very simple from the transom, it's just one step down, then you have got plenty of headroom here, loads of space around this seat here. Again, you can quite easily anchor seat four people on each bench around the table. It's designed for when underway to have three facing forward there, three facing forward here, and then obviously the three facing forward at the helm, which we'll go into in a moment. The table on this drops down out of the way and then this backrest lifts back and you've got a huge sun lounger here as well. This table also extends out to give you a huge area for dining. So the table drops right the way down, locks into place and then this backrest flips over. So with the backrest all the way back it reveals a huge sun pad which will very easily take three or even four people. You can also lie on it with ways. Under the back of the sun pad there's a huge locker which is one of many on the boat. So also under this back seat is the technical access hatch which is accessible by pressing a lock button on here and an up button. feature of this boat and one of its many highlights is the drop down sides which are fully electric. So as you can see with the sides down on this boat this area is massive. It just really opens up your boat to the experience. So you can have these now on the marina or when you're out at sea and you're safe to do so. So I'm now on the second row of seats in the boat. As you can see, it's a huge area. It's designed to have three people forward facing when the boat's underway, but the bench is, is huge. It also slides backwards and forwards on a track to one, give you more room when you're working around the wet bar and two, to give you more space on the table.
Also under this back seat, there's a huge locker. You just tilt the uh, headrest forward and lift this up. It's massive. At the moment, we've got some fenders and some covers in there, but it's a great area for storage. So while we're talking about storage, with the seat facing backwards, you've got another huge locker in the floor here. So this is the wet bar unit fitted with the optional wet bar package. As you can see, you've got some cup holders, grab handles around it, really nice finished work surface. This lifts up and it reveals a sink. And then you've got uh, a burner on here, twin burner on here, and then a uh, chopping board for your food preparation. Also in here, storage in the drawers below. The wet bar package also comes with a fridge and then there's also an optional additional fridge that can be fitted on the other side that matches it. So the inside of the T-top is finished with down lighters and then obviously you've got the structure of the T-top here. It's got some really nice detailing in it here with the Saxonall logo which is actually backlit when you have the uh, courtesy lights on. From the side decks, there's a small step down into the cockpit here. We have three forward spacing bucket seats, each of which has its own flip up bolster and each of which are adjustable backwards and forwards. Driver's seat, it's really comfortable. You've also got a raised foot rest, which I'll show you in a moment. As I say, you can slide it backwards and forwards. For convenience and comfort, you also have tilt steering and everything just feels like it's in the right position for driving. If you want to stand and drive, you flip up the bolster, lean the seat back to the position you want, and then you can brace yourself. Also under the seats, there's a huge cavity here for storage, and your battery isolator switches are positioned conveniently there too. So up on the helm, obviously you can see you've got your really nicely finished Saxdor um, steering wheel. You've got the twin Mercury controls, which you can either use both together, or stick it into the single lever operation and run both engines at once. It's all really nice, smooth, easy to use, or fly-by-wire controls. To the right of it, we've got the trim tabs. This boat has got the upgraded automatic trim tabs, which is well worth getting. And then you've also got the, the side power bow thruster sat next to it. Over here, you can see the two uh, cup holders, which have got some nice touches with the LED lighting into them. And you've also got a uh, wireless phone charger where you just sit your, your phone in there. Above this, you've also got a nice little storage locker. Below here, you've got a grab handle for the passenger and a optional Simrad VHF radio. You've also got over here twin Simrad 12 inch displays um, and it also has the Mercury vessel view integrated into it. That's part of a package, which is an option, but you also get this uh, standalone Mercury vessel view unit um, a standard in addition to the Mercury uh, mobile app. Everything's controlled from this smart panel here, which is backlit and it has lights on, on the switches when they're operational. Kill cord is down here. So moving up into the bow on this boat is really easy. You've got nice wide, deep side decks, but plenty to hold on to on the way through. You've got um, cleats, a long grab heart handle along here. And you've also got down the sides of the boat, the removable fender eyes. Obviously you can see there's plenty of glazing above here, which gives light into the cabin, which I'll show you in a moment. As you can see, the space at the front of the boat again is huge. The grab handles are easily accessible for the passengers at the front here. You can easily get two people up here. You've also got integrated cup holders into the side. Also underneath this uh, sun pad, you've got, you can remove your cushions and you've got two skylights. Obviously uh, loads of light into the cabin, but also allow loads of fresh air through and also doubles up as a fire emergency exit. So the front of this boat is an absolutely huge anchor locker. It's optional to have a catapult bow windlass, which this boat isn't fitted with. So let's now go into the cabin and take a look. 
So down in the cabin, the first thing you'll notice is how much space there is and how light it is. There's loads of natural light coming in from these overhead panels here, glass panels, and then there's lots of glazing on each side of the boat as well. But you've also got the blinds that come down to give you the privacy right the way around. Over here, we've got a, a vanity changing area and also we've got a door here that opens up with your full control panel for all your electrical systems. Over to this side, you've got the main head unit for the optional Fusion Stereo, which can also be um, operated off your phone or on the dashboard. And over here, as you can see, we've got a massive double bed, which I'll go into more detail with in a moment. As you can see, I'm sat on the bed here, leaning back, still loads of headroom to sit up and get changed. You know, for two people here, in addition to the extra seat there. This boat, boat's got the mattress topper on it as well for sleeping on, and underneath reveals the same matching upholstery as we have on the seat here. You've got uh, individual reading lights on this boat, uh, in addition to the overall overhead lighting. As you can see up here, there's absolutely stacks of space in the bed. It easily sleeps two people, probably even three. Um, you're not feeling claustrophobic in here. There's lots of light coming through. And I've got the, uh, the windows open, which I showed you a moment ago. But when these are closed, you've got a, a blind that comes over as well. Or if you want to leave it, stop the flies coming in. You've got a fly sheet on here too. So it just gives you plenty of ventilation into this boat. There's also a storage shelf each side of the bed and there's even a USB charging point for your phone. We've got a good size locker. We've got uh, three shelves in there. There's also a storage shelf above it. But one of the really smart um, features on this boat is the loo. So this door opens up and it can be left open so you have a lot more space in the cabin. So sat on the seat over the toilet at the moment, you can see there's absolutely stacks of room in here, loads of headroom. When the door's shut, there's loads of space in here as well. You've also got a sink in here when you go for the fresh water package. You've got a locker in here too. And there's also a mirror. So you've got, as I said, the seat that goes over the top of the loo, which folds up out of the way when not in use. And we've got a control panel here for the electric toilet. For more information on this awesome all new Saxdor 320 GTO or anything else in the Saxdor range, please do give us a call 01758 703 013. Send us an email, sales at idealboat.com or visit our website, idealboat.com. Thank you for watching.